Welcome to Grandma Doctor's Kitchen. I got another good one for you today. I'm going to do beef and pinto beans. Okay? So what you're going to need is, I did chuck steak. You, you know, chuck steak. And then you cut it up into cubes like so. Alright? And I used garlic seasoning, Tony Satrin. And I used uh, garlic powder. I used meat tenderizer, okay? And I used red pepper and black pepper, okay? So I uh, soaked my beans for about three hours. My pinto beans, I washed them and cleaned them. Looked through them to see if there was any hard stuff. And then you're gonna need a beer. You're gonna need um, broth, beef broth. You, this is um, two tablespoons of tomato paste, okay? This is chili powder. This is a half a cup of sugar. This is a third of a cup of olive oil because we're going to fry the meat first. But I'll take you over to the stove and show you. This is Worcestershire sauce, a third of a cup. This is black pepper. This is crushed garlic. I, I, I bought it in a um already crushed in a jar okay all right and this is onion okay this is half cup of onion so what i'm going to do the first thing i'm going to do is go over to the stove and i'm going to brown the meat and then i'm going to take it out of the after i brown it i'm going to take it out of the pot and add all these other ingredients and then add the meat back to the pot okay but Let's go over to the stove and then we'll get started. Welcome back. Now you see I marinated my meat. So at least let it marinate for at least two hours. Okay? And chuck steak makes it makes a good. So I'm, all I'm gonna do is just make sure it's brown a little bit. And then I'm going to take it out of the pot and add the other ingredients and then add it back to the pot, okay? So I would say I'm going to cook this about 10 minutes and then I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. Now you see it looks like it's ready but it's not. We just want to brown it, okay? So we're going to take it out and put it on a platter. Remember this is a truck roast so it takes longer to cook. It takes about two hours for it to get nice and tender like you want. And of course if you like to add other vegetables you can do that too. You don't have to stick to the pinto beans. You can add carrots or potatoes or whatever vegetables you like. I just chose pinto beans. Okay, but you can add a lot of different vegetables to it. So, next thing we're going to do, I'm going to put the, the beer in it. Okay. I'm going to start with a cup and a half, okay, then I'm going to put this, the, the stock, beef stock, okay, I'm going to put all of this in there, Okay, and then I'm going to put the onions, the chili powder, the Worcestershire sauce, the garlic, crushed garlic.
the black pepper, the tomato paste, the sugar, the beans. Now, if you had another kind of a vegetable, you wouldn't add it now. You would wait until about, you would cook it for an hour, the, the beef and stuff, and then you would add the other vegetables at the end. Don't add them if they were a frozen vegetables, another kind of vegetable. You add it at the end, okay? Let me put this back in. Okay. Let me see how much uh, I can add a little bit more. Uh, I have space, so I can add a little bit more beer, because beer beer is going to be going to give it that good flavor, and you know you you're not going to be able to taste the beer. Okay, so we're going to cook it on on medium heat. We're going to cook it for two hours, okay? And then I'll be back. And I'll show you the finished product. Welcome back. This is the finished product. It's beef with beans. Okay? And these are pinto beans. Alright? And so I used a, remember I used a um, chuck steak and cubed it. And I made cornbread to go with it. Okay? Alright, so let's, let's have a taste test. Very good. Very good. Very tasty. Very flavorful. Very good. The meat is, is fork tender. This um, chuck steak is good. Very good. Yes. Real good. And see how the gravy has some gravy to it? Very good. Very good. Very flavorful. Happy eating to you.